Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. My name is Erica. Today we are unboxing the July 2020 Sew Sampler Box. So if you're new to Sew Sampler Boxes, they are monthly sewing and quilting subscription boxes. They come right to your mailbox and they are filled with patterns, fabric, notions, and other goodies. I'll put a link on where you can get it below. They're $24.95 a month. Let's go ahead and see what's inside this month's box. So the theme for the July box is called Seize the Day, and on the back there is a coupon code for a free Bonnie and Camille tote and a free uh, quilt book from Bonnie and Camille as well. And I only have one hand because if you saw my last video, you'll know that I broke my um, elbow. <laughs> Uh, trying to save some quilts from getting rained on. Uh, so anyways, um, I can't turn this around, but it's the Bonnie and Camille Quilt B book and one of their um, tote bags, which is super cute. There you go. So the you only part it. of my nails are done. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> they don't care. Anyways, look how cute. Bag, free book. On a lighter note, I actually have somewhere to put my microphone now. Okay, so let's start off with the Bliss Quilt Along. This is a block number four. They retail for $4.98. This quilt along was designed by Joanna Figueroa of Fig Tree Fabrics, and this block is just so cute. I love it. It looks kind of like a take on a rolling stone block. It's sort of um, blowing out right here, but the outside edges are kind of more rolling stone-ish, and then the inside has that cute little crisscross block in it, so very cute. And if you're new to these videos, I do save up all of these uh, patterns, and then once I get all 12, I pile them all together and do a giveaway for you guys so you get all of the patterns for free. Well, one of you gets all the patterns for free. Okay, so let's start with this cute little pin box that I got. This is Quilter Select Pin Tin, and it has pins inside. It values at $8.48, and it says, dive into your next quilt with a fresh set of Quilter Select pins. The set of 100 nickel-plated pins comes in a sturdy magnet case, magnetic case and is equipped with high-quality glass heads that can handle the heat. So there you go. And I know people always say that glass head pins and you know they can handle the heat. I've never actually ironed with my pins still in my fabric. So um, I mean, I guess that's a bonus, but I, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys do that? Do you iron with your pins still in your fabric? Maybe if you're a clothing designer, but for quilting, I feel like by the time I'm pressing, um, my pins are already out because I've already sewed and then I'm pressing. I don't know, what do you think? But it's cute tin either way. And um, like I said, it's actually magnetic. So they're not even jingling around in there. They're just kind of all in there. So, really cute. Okay, and then to go with that, so we have two sets of pins in this one box, which is, I think, a little bit weird because we have two of the same product, but I will say that I actually really love these. These are the ma uh, Magic Pins, and I actually got a set of these in a little container from one of my other boxes, and I have used them to uh, bait, or not baste, but um, block my knitted projects, and they work so good. They're really fine and super sharp, so they don't poke holes in your fabric. Um, and again, they're uh, heat resistant, which is also a bonus. Um, and then this one comes with two different sizes. It has, it looks like it has the uh, quilting pins and the extra long pins in it. And these retail for $2.74. And it says this set of magic pins by Taylor Seville contains six pieces, each of these extra long pins and the quilting pins. They're perfect for holding lifetime or together. <laughs> They're perfect for holding together multiple layers of fabric. Both are equipped with heat resistant comfort grip handles for happy hands. And um, I can say that these actually are really nice. I don't usually use these for piecing. Um, I use my little house pins, but like I said, these are actually really good for blocking your knitwear. So I don't know. The next thing in our box is the Half Rectangle Ruler or Trimmer by Fat Quarter Shop. It values at $5.98 and it says, get those half rectangle triangles easily squared away with the Half Rectangle Trimmer by Fat Quarter Shop. This handy notion makes these traditionally tricky units a beachside breeze. So this is what it looks like. It's just an acrylic trimmer and then you use those lines to line up with your fabric to trim your blocks. Here's a picture of what that kind of looks like. So you trim them and they're a little bit wonky, which would be hard to piece um, like that. So this is an easy way to do it. So that's really cool. And that makes me think we might be needing that for the pattern. Also, if you guys have any tips on how to sew one-handed, <laughs> let me know, because I'm right-handed. So that's the bonus uh, there. The next thing is so cute. This is a little like, 
I mean, it kind of looks like a stitch marker or a zipper pull. It's a little sailboat. Uh, this is called Sail Away Nantucket Summer Bonus Sailboat Charm. It values for $5, and it's just such a cute little charm. It matches, of course, the fabric that comes in this and the pattern, and these are really cute for zipper pulls. I put these on bags all the time, but you could also use them as like a progress keeper if you're a knitter, um, and then, of course, you could just use it to decorate like your purse or anything like that. So this is really cute. Um, and Camille Ross Kelly has a couple different ones. I think she has a swoon block and a little house block coming out uh, soon. And those are adorable as well. I think those might be needle minders um, or just pins for like your bags and stuff, but they're really cute. Okay, and then the pattern to go with that is right here. This is called the Sail Away Pattern. This is by Fat Quarter Shop Exclusive. It is uh, values at $9.98. This quilt finishes at approximately 36 and a half by 36 and a half. So it's kind of just like a little wall hanging. Um, and it says the Sail Away Quilt is ready to carry you away with inspiration and tranquility. Use the Nantucket Summer Layer Cake and Half Rectangle Trimmer tool from this month's box to create this Sew Sampler Original Quilt quilt and that's really cute. It actually, instead of sailboats, it sort of more looks like flying like birds or something to me a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe they're supposed to be like catamarans or something. I'm not actually sure. It's cute and it's definitely a unique design. And then right in here, you can kind of see those wonky uh, little half triangle blocks in there. So very cute. Um, and this quilt uses a layer cake and then you need one, one and three eighths yards background for um, background and borders and then a half a yard for binding. So, and then as with um, all of their patterns, their patterns are super easy to follow. They have written instructions, graphic illustrations to make it really easy for beginning quilters. Okay, let's, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I might have to have my daughter come back in and help me, but there is a layer cake in here of Nantucket Summer. And I'm really glad that they put this in here because I've been I debating on whether or not to get this fabric. Um, it's really, really pretty and I like it, but I'm also, just the blues and the greens, I want, I like more color variety in my bundles usually, but these blues are so beautiful. Um, so this layer cake values at $18.98. It's like a, a partial layer cake, so it's not like a full layer cake. Um, and it just says, set your course for a beautiful summer with this collection, Lakeside Blues, and verdant greens pool into an elegant display of swirling florals, delicate dots, and other classy stripes and, oh, classic stripes and plaids. And so this is such a fun line. So um, I'll see if I can get my daughter to come in here and help me pull all these down so we can look at it. So here's our little side view that we always do. So you can kind of see all the colors. And then here, this is definitely one of my favorite prints. I think that would be a great backing. Um, they might've even made that one in 108 print. I'm not sure. So that's everything that came in this month's box. I added up for you. The total for this month is $51.14. Again, the boxes are $24.95. So pretty much double your money every month, somewhere around there. They kind of go up and down, vary a little bit. Some months I've seen are like around 60. I think the lowest box I've ever seen is around 44, 48, somewhere in there. So usually you get a really good deal for your money. I think as far as favorite products go, um, I definitely love the fabric and the pattern. The pattern is really cute and unique. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it though. Um, so I'll probably add this to one of my giveaways for my next podcast when I film that. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then of course I liked that little charm that was adorable. And of course I can always use more pins. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this box. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite product was from this month's unboxing. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make sure to thumbs up and subscribe, you can also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time. Uh, okay, let's dive right in. I'm like off my game, kind of. Everything's packaged in tiny little packages. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Got it. The next thing in here is a half rectangle ruler by Fat Quarter Shop, and it's uh, retail, bleh, equipped with heat resistant combat or comfort grip handles. <laughs> combat, oh my gosh, yes, it is a rough sport. I think I have PTSD. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. It's like the most ridiculous things you can't do with one hand. Like I'm having a hard time blowing my nose and getting dressed. Haley, come here for a sec. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we'll just put it up far enough that you can like, there you go. So deep water navies and verdant greens. Is that a thing? What's a verdant green? Be right back.
<laughs> Kale. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to hold it up kind of close to the camera there. It's not focusing. You can touch it. What the heck? Come on. Hold it. Can it see your face? No. It's better. It's easier if you put it like clear up here like, like this, and then if you're kind of behind it, it can't see you. Okay. Thank you. Muchas gracias. <laughs> And in case you're wondering, I put this at the end of uh, one of my previous videos, but um, I have a quilting related injury. <laughs> I broke my arm trying to save some quilts from getting rained on. So I think after quilting for all these years, that's my very first quilting injury. So um, I think that's a good thing. It doesn't hurt too bad. I'm hoping for a quick recovery, but um, there might be a little lull in between tutorials just because, um, you know, it's going to be really hard to do a tutorial with one hand. So um, anyways, I do have some pre-filmed videos and the Sew With Me series videos are already um, filmed and edited and so those will be uploading on time. Um, and I'll try and film some other fun stuff for you in between that doesn't require me to have two hands. Um, so I do appreciate your patience during this time of healing. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.